Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 The Elder Kings mod, where we are still playing as Emperor Theodore Cassander IV of Tamriel, despite the fact that he is presently 92 years old. He's kept kicking for a long time, and um, even though this is probably going to be quite a, a, a reasonably quick war, um, I, I say that in spite of the fact that I know full well that uh, the... Uh, that the um, occupation of Vivek City proper is probably going to take a while. Uh, I've decided to show that anyway, because hey, uh, you know, everybody loves Morrowind. So let's uh, let's conquer Vardenfell. So I think well, what I think that will mean is that the titles that the um, Arch Cannon holds in Vardenfell will go to me, and the prob and uh, you know the whole problem provinces thing, the of. Uh, you know, having to deal with the uh, minor kingdom level title uh, is, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have to deal with that. Yeah, at present we don't have even enough to siege it down, but uh, these uh, these levies should help me out in that on that front. Yeah, they got a, a lot of units that can counterattack, but it's probably going to be uh, not quite enough. Well, shit. Looks like he's dead. Well, I mean, at least Theodore V is good. And young enough that he'll rule for a while, but... I do believe it does mean that this war is over. Yeah, he has his, uh, am has fulfilled that ambition. To claim a title see does he have any traits that would prevent him from being a warlord sure would like it if I could declare this war again cuz yeah that's annoying I mean I, I suppose it's not that surprising that a guy in his mid 90s would kill over and die but still yeah anyway yeah I should probably get him crowned set my ambitions Get rid of some domain thing somewhere, but but I'll take care of that off screen and uh, make a cut here to the next interesting thing. Um, apologies for the change in my voice. Um, the audio got really unusable at this point, but anyway, uh, on to the next thing. I have been dealing with some raids, particularly in this corner of of uh, the Somerset Isles itself from Eleanor uh, for basically ever since uh, I, uh, I conquered this poor corner of it. So, now that I have been able to Warlord, uh, as it turns out, you only have... As it turns out, your ability to become a Warlord is, uh, is to choose the Warlord ambition is kind of determined by... Uh, it's like a ticking random chance over time. So, because... Uh, because he's uh, ambitious and diligent, uh, and diligent or whatever, he, because he's ambitious and strong, and his folk, he had a war focus. He he eventually got a high enough chance to do it. So let's declare this war to conquer Eleanor, all of it this time. Let's land directly in the Somerset Isles. Get this. Uh, Partial, partially mercenary and partially, uh... And partially not mercenary, I guess, uh, army to take care of that. So let's raise our levies. Have these guys, have those folks, uh, be, uh, fighting defensively. We do need a defensive force in the Imperial City. Our last several wars have con basically confirmed that. In any case, let's land just directly in Eleanor proper. 
And we apparently have Ariel Rebels as well. Uh, so my mother's come out of hiding. Another thing that's occurring that I'm going to need to keep my eye on because I'm going to have to be—I'm uh, going to be forced to deal with this at some point. The heir of the kingdom of Hammerfell is also the heir to the kingdom of Skyrim. We cannot allow a union of the of of those two crowns. We we can't let any of our vassals grow that powerful. That's an empire in its own right. We're going to have to split them up. Maybe demand Gavelkind. So we have a son. We're going to name him what we always named him. We're going to name him Theodore. This one is a strong genius. And uh, we're going to need to take care of this uprising as well. Okay, good. I've finally been able to convert the Sentinel. It's only taken me how many years? Let's go to King's Watch. Try and convert that since it is a... Well, King's Haven is the holy site, but... The uh, liege lord of, of, of that uh, of that site is um, Worm Cult, weirdly enough. And uh, I need to get religion focused so I can request her to convert. All right. Execution by being mauled to death by a bear. That's, you know, you, you, you got to get creative sometimes. H hanging just doesn't have the effect it used to have. Okay, big victory in Eleanor proper. Quite a few losses for assaulting across a river, but... Let's find that other army. Well, we found them. Let's meet that other army, is what I mean to say. Okay, we've met them in Vassalon. And here goes. So yeah, let's lend a, land another army. Ah, there was another Alagor uprising going, going on. It, they just happened so often. Fifth, goddamn 15 of them, and I, I didn't even notice. And here we have it. Eleanor is ours. And holy hell, do we have a lot of titles to deal with, to dish out. Who, though, shall we dish them out to? I am going to grant the title to this. Uh, he has Bosmer culture, but he is an Altmer. He's also nine divines and would be loyal to me personally. He knows something of loyal of, of rulership. He is of noble blood. His stats aren't terrible. Will be better once I get the, uh, and he'll be even better once I am able to use magic to get rid of the uh, lunatic trait. All right, I fulfilled my ambition to warlord. His demean is all up in here. Uh, yes, that is one down and one to go. 
as far as the Elven Island Kingdoms go. Hey, it rhymes. But yes, that is one. We have just one, I think. Well, two. I think there's also Solstheim, and I think. Yeah, Roscria is part of our du jour as well. So let's prepare to grab Piandonia. And I think I will give Piandonia to perhaps the one of the Chimeri descendants of uh of Theodore the Fourth, of Theodore the Battle Mage. And I wish I wish we didn't get the wise again. Should uh, it should vary things a bit more, because you know the first Theodore was wise, even though, you know, he was really more bastardly than anything else. And um Aerith was wise, and I guess that's fitting enough for her though she didn't I mean it's not like she was like particularly famous or renowned for anything other than just being kind of generically good. But yeah. I have no idea why... Edwina's in the Roscrian court. I'm gonna have to conquer it just to... just to... just to be safe. Uh, yeah, our pal Teddy, uh, our Theodore the Fifth, is uh, has uh, done quite well for himself already. Okay, and gotta bear in mind that Pandonia has sixteen thousand troops, so. Gonna need to build up for a bit. Yeah, gotta get rid of this human husband for our Argonian queen. Not even... He's, she's not even his main wife. Well, he's dead now and she, she doesn't know we had anything to do with it. So, Argonian, men, married, no. Hmm, his stats are decent. We'll invite him. Hopefully, she'll say yes. Oh, what the fuck? Again? You, you, you know what? You, your brother has a nice Argonian wife. What's her fertility like? Please don't be zero. Oh, it's fine. What's his? It's fine, it's gonna happen for him. Maybe not right away, but it will happen. Alright, actually, since it is going to be a while before, uh, before my armies in, uh, Before my armies in uh, Pandonia proper uh, built, you know, are built up, um, uh, you know, re are able to reinforce properly, um, I'm going to press a weak claim at the, right now on uh, on Solstheim, since uh, it'd be it'd be quicker than having to, you know, claim it do do the whole duchy by duchy claiming thing. So, she's only an experienced mage, but she is ambitious.
Princess Eola might be, uh, might turn out better still. Meantime, I can now educate him personally, so... Can't I? I'll go with Syl for now. Alright, now I can do it myself. Let's hurry up and see if we can't if, if we can reinforce this in time. Really do need to swing this battle. Oh shit, they've stopped us. like the next High King of uh, High Rock might be quite a good mage. Oh, motherfucker. Again? Jesus. That's three this episode alone. Well, against all reason, either the AI knows something I don't, or they are stupidly charging to their death despite being outnumbered. So the mayor of St. Delon has been captured in battle. Oh, a lot of prisoners. I'll put the over-under on how many Alica revolts we have before uh, before the series ends at 20. Really all depends on uh, how, long, how much longer I keep this series going, because uh, they're just going to keep happening. So let's now land this army in Solstein proper. Okay, finally 100%. And the rest of Vardenfell right now. And here we will grab it. We're just sieging everything down as quickly as we can do it. We are at the easy completionist part of this conquest. Most of the hard lifting was done by Alessia in that regard. So, okay, it turns out the uh, black worm cultist I was trying to kill, um, yeah, she's the she, she usurped the uh, kingdom while I wasn't looking. The bright side is, this means there are a lot more people who are willing to kill her. So, you know, silver linings. Okay, the carriage that High Queen Benioth is traveling on will soon suffer an unfortunate accident, leaving no survivors. So it failed and my complicity was revealed. 
Well, that's bad. Alright, so now they're trying the whole poison thing. Well, she didn't drink it, but didn't uncover the conspiracy, so could be worse, I suppose. So, you might as well try again, I guess? Okay, the Highwayman Ambush. I don't know if there's a difference in the chances of success of each different type of plan. I've never looked into that. Let me know in the comments if there is. I think all that remains is, yeah, I'm going to have to go into Vivek and slowly siege it down. It's annoying, but I'm, I, I've got to do it. All right, convinced that the attack was carried out by Highwaymen. All right, she is now dead, and we now have a Nine Divines ruler. Ruling in Alinor. Let's try and convert in Stonemore now. I think Eola is probably going to be better than her sister is. Okay, and at long last, we have reached 100% war score in our conquest of Vardenfell. Excellent. That leaves us with the with some titles to sort out and. Um, Apart from Necrom and the Telvanni, that leaves only those pesky sea elves left in our conquest of all Tamriel. So we're in the home stretch of this series, folks. But the rest of it is going to have to wait until next time. Until next episode, I have been Maricotti, you have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.